Cancer Sun, Sagittarius Moons. This is your 2019 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates, my info, and my email are listed below. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. Doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing them in order of requests in the comments, so make sure you post yours up. First portion of this reading will be the text. I will read the textbook definition of your Sun Moon sign. So please refer to the source I credited below in the description box. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2019. Second portion you can click on the link below to the Vimeo reading where there will be a deeper interpretation of the cards in addition to clear addition to clarifiers okay usually anywhere from five minute to a ten minute plus video I'll divide the year up into four separate quadrants other things to mention I'm on instant go if you need a quick answer I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram for my weekly quickies check out my playlist for your 2018 Sun Moon readings see if they rang true for you and then I'll be working on compatibility readings this year and into next year okay so Sun and Cancer Moon and Aquarius the combination of your Sun sign and your moon sign produces the kind of personality that can tr can transmit an excellent understanding of yourself to others around you. You relate well to people and are likely to have the reputation for being one who is understanding and sympathetic, yet you have a rather objective intellect that always seems to hold a large viewpoint. Your appeal may be to large groups of people more than to individuals, as your aloofness and detachment draws people to you rather than drawing you towards others. You often appear preoccupied as though you were caught up in many thoughts at the, at the same time. You're critical of people, but always in a well-intentioned way. You have a good deal of pride, and you're not one to bear your soul to those around you. There is little that is petty about you, and you have little, wait, little time for pettiness in others. You have a way of achieving power over people, and you seem to spend little time or effort making friends. Nonetheless, you're well accepted for your general concern for people with it, people. With an aristocracy of bearing, you raise people to your level, rarely stooping to theirs. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for a Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons for 2019. What do they have in store? Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, 2019. Okay, so Holy Spirit, angels, can you please show me January, February, March? For Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, you guys have the Five of Wands in the upright. Can you please show me April, May, June? For Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Can you please show me July, August, September? Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, you guys have the Queen of Cups in the upright. And October, November, December, please, for Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, we have the Five of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, so you're starting off the year with a little bit of conflict. Um, it could be competition going on. Usually the five of pentacles is about rival rivalry. It could be conflict over money. It could be a whole bunch of priorities competing with each other, or it could just be confrontation going on and dealing with confrontation with other people. So whatever that situation, that is what the vibe is going to be for January, February, March for you guys. For April, May, June, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this is, be really careful of your money in April, May, June. Try not to be too spendy. Try not to be too extravagant. Try not to buy things that you feel like you're entitled to. Um, you know, I, I think you really need to check out your finances. I mean, just be careful of your finances. Um, you know, don't buy that shiny object just because you want it or you feel like you deserve it because I feel like that could end up being problematic for you April, May, June. Queen of Cups is in July, August, September. So you guys could get into a relationship that's very devoted, very supportive, having a very deep emotional connection with somebody. The Queen of Cups usually symbolizes a relationship that's very nurturing, okay? If it's not that, for others of you, you could be getting into some sort of work that is very meaningful to you, that appeals to your emotions, and that helps other people. And I could see that with you guys being a Cancer Sun, Aquarius, a Spoon, really finding something and kind of giving back and helping people get to a better place in July, August, September. And Five of Pentacles here is the end of the year, October, November, December. Um, 
This might kind of go back what I was talking about before about be careful of your finances because the five of pentacles at the end of the year can indicate poverty, can indicate a job loss. Some of you might be going through emotional hardship. Some of you might be going through financial hardship at the end of the year, okay? Whatever it is that you're going to go through, it is going to be a test of your resources. It is going to be challenging. So just make sure you persevere and then hopefully you will come out of that going into 2020. So make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. Um, I will be going into these in depth. I will also pull clarifiers. If this resonated with you, definitely consider a personal reading. We can go ahead and get that worked out very easily. Otherwise, good luck to Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, Aquarius Moons for 2019. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.